Hey Snuggles, this is Tanya with Why Be Confused. I'm so happy to see you guys. As you see, this is the You're Doing Great series. And I'm just going over a few things that are normal experiences within your burnout prevention journey or attaining your goals or just life. And just giving you the reminder that you are doing great just because you're experiencing these things does not mean that you are failing in any way and also hitting some of those challenging things that um, you might want to just keep in mind. All right. So this video is high standards equals high critics or critiques, excuse me. See, look at this. <laughs> so when you have high standards, you have high expectations, you expect a certain amount of quality, you care a lot about quality, you can be very critical of yourself and sometimes others. We tend to check ourselves with others. We're like, mm, that's too much pullback. But with ourselves, we just let the critiques fly. And it's not always the healthiest. So we're gonna go over a few bullet points on this topic. One, you see things through a harsh lens. When you have expectations or standards or quality that are here, and then what you were able to implement due to your resources, your circumstances, or whatever it may be, if they end up being here, you are now comparing these two. And all you can keep seeing is you're not this. And so then your criticism is based off of that. While having high standards can be very beneficial because you are able to produce great quality it also is very challenging for you because then you can't see things for what they are. So in terms of your burnout prevention journey, if you have the high standard of living a burnout free life, and then you get to where I was um, 2020, where I was burning out once a quarter, all you see is, I shouldn't have been burning that at all. What you don't see is 2019, I was burning out at least six times that year. I'm down to four. Oh, if I keep working on it, I could probably reduce this. I can tell you 2021 so far, as you know, I batch film. 2021 is still in the spec of people. I burned out only twice this year. So if I had the expectation to be completely burnout free, I cannot appreciate the progress that I'm making already. Now, again, I don't believe that a burnout free life is possible. And there are various factors that occurred in each of those years that impacted my burnout frequency. But I can tell you that I have been better at my burnout prevention as I've been going along. So don't look at things from such a harsh lens. Don't always compare the reality to the vi to, don't always compare the reality to the vision. It's not a fair fight. Number two, the longer you stare at something, the more flaws you will see at it. And we do this with ourselves. The more we do self-reflection, the more flaws we will see. And because burnout prevention requires self-reflection, because you need to know where you are, what's going well, what's not going well, you need to be able to see those things. Sometimes we become extra critical of ourselves. And these are things that we wanna be careful of during our burnout prevention journey. Think of it this way. If you write out a word and then you proceed to stare at it for a really long time, that word will begin to look misspelled. You can look at yourself who is doing great on your burnout prevention journey so far. And you can stare at it, pick at it, decide that this was wrong, this isn't right, I want that. Change your standards in the process. And eventually you will look wrong and out of place. 
So be kind to yourself. And with your self-reflection, note facts and then kind of put it to the side. Don't don't dig into that too deep. Don't don't go too deep in that. Because again, your the negative reflections that you have noticed are not a negative reflection of yourself. And three, done is better than perfection and progress. Let's just be honest about this. I can create a product and it could be in progress for some time and I'm still working on it to be better. But if no one ever knows about it, is it fulfilling its purpose if it never goes out? Is it fulfilling its purpose? Now, I mention this because I do have two products that are on the back burner right now. But I made that decision based off a of capacity and needs of my audience. If you are choosing to delay making moves on your burnout prevention journey, because you're waiting for a time where you can get things done right, or you're waiting before you work with myself as a coach until you can get the techniques and things of that sort that I've talked to you about on YouTube down. You're doing yourself a disservice. Let's be real. My YouTube videos are instructional. They are informative, but they're not meant for you to make the changes alone. They're to give you insight. They're more of a resource to reaffirm the things that you work on me with. If you choose to try to perfect that before ever speaking to me, you're doing yourself a disservice. Because done is better than perfection in progress. It is better for you to work with me and feel like there's still things that you could have done better before we started our conversation than for you to sit in your home nitpicking at yourself, trying to implement these things by yourself and then come to me all prepared. No. Let's start this journey now. Because you'll burn yourself out trying to do it at home by yourself. And that's exactly what we're trying to prevent. I'm going to try to keep this video pretty brief. I hope that all of you have a wonderful day, my dear snuggles. If you like this video, please like it. If you've liked a couple of the videos, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you can get a notification next time there is another video. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, go ahead and leave them in the comment section. And the next video and the last video in this series is perfection isn't possible. How fitting. <laughs> My dear Snuggles, I will see y'all later. Bye.